With global sea shipping rates on the rise, Chinese exporters are doing their best to minimize the impacts on their businesses. This roller door manufacturer in the eastern city of Ningbo has seen a 50% increase in orders from Europe and the Middle East compared to the same period last year. But with a surge in shipping demand, straining capacity, and pushing costs up even further, the company's been struggling to secure shipping space. The result has been a delay in the delivery of four containers worth of goods. There are even goods piled next to the factory gate. We've bought extra containers to store weather-sensitive items to avoid rain and sun exposure. Faced with the surge in ocean shipping rates, Ding says they're now exploring alternative modes of transportation like air and rail freight. Other companies like this foreign trade firm in the southern city of Shenzhen are now opting for slower but less expensive cargo vessels to bring down shipping costs. We used to rely solely on fast sea freight, but now we choose slower conventional ships, extending our goods transit cycle to cut costs. We've also taken necessary measures to reduce costs on the operational side, such as planning shipments earlier and storing goods in overseas warehouses before moving them to the U.S. warehouses. According to industry watchers, the cost of shipping a 40-foot container from Asia to some Latin American regions has soared to around 8,000 U.S. dollars from a low of 2,000 U.S. dollars in 2023.